Say it's a male or a female? It's a male. It's a male? Why? You're right, but why? Because it's hanging out off the box. And because it's protecting its contact. Yep. No, also, what, what about its coloring? It's all blue. So a female is less less bright. Right? Right. Less. The and male is just... This is standing there. Hey there. Let's see what's inside. Have you guys seen it go inside the nest box here? We have not. We have. Is that right? We wouldn't know which one the male and the female is. But often when you put up new nest boxes, younger birds tend to settle and the older birds already have a nest box somewhere else. So we have to disturb them a little bit to check inside the box, um, which is why we brought these. So we can't we can't tell if that's a male or female. Say again. Uh, that bird right there. We, do we know if it's male or female? No, we can't tell can't unless tell? you see a pair together. Uh, I think it's you know, and you know that one of them is brown and the other one is. Sure. Sure. And not male. They, they, they will be territorial, but also the females, you know, once the nest is uh, is active, they will also protect it. Because a female could have multiple mates as well, and so she's very much do that, you know, even before they start nesting, uh, um, you know, they just take ownership of a, of a box. And as you said, you know, males, you know, protect the nest box, but the question is what's inside, and more importantly, you know, can tree swallows breed successfully in a habitat like this, you know, there's... We're right next to the, to the to the buildings, you know. We're next to a, an open field. Uh, you know, the birds should naturally be nesting in these trees, and so you want to ask the question: Who are these birds? Are they successful? Are we helping them by putting these nest boxes out? So you do have to look inside, and it's it's one thing to look at, at the end of the nesting season, maybe August and September. But when I have done that, I found that often the nest is already been taken over by a deer mouse or by a flying squirrel. And so you literally have to check in the middle of the nesting period. And uh, the other thing is, if you know, they might lay an egg, but it might be it's just off to you know catch some prey or something. It doesn't feel like we were the ones. But this could be a good time to you know sort of approach. So it's gonna be a little you know hands on. We are going to you know take the roof off and uh, put our hands inside and see what's there. There could be another bird sitting on the eggs. There could be babies. Um, you know, it it could be that maybe the day before the babies pick our pledge and so we want to make sure that we don't scare them all off or the um, so birds don't use um, smell very much for detecting predators they do use it to sort of you know assess the health status of others but um, they won't care I could actually put in another bird's uh, egg inside and he would still sit down or she would still accept it so so birds don't care about the scent of your hand uh, very much. It's not like um, you know, baby squirrels or, or cats and dogs. Um, uh, so we can do that uh, without gloves, you know, without worrying. You obviously don't want to put deodorant and sunscreen and whatnot, which are quite pungent. But Would a baby bird like, fly out? Like, it could, if, if it's at the stage where they are just about to fledge, they could fly out. Uh, um, you know, but the nesting period is, you know, is about a whole month from laying the eggs to fledging the young. So hopefully we're not on the day before, you know, they will fledge because then, you know, the entire box will just explode and maybe birds trying to come out. Uh, <laughs> um, and what you do in th those cases is you just, you know, you just let the birds, they would do that naturally, you know, just, just make sure they land on a branch and, uh, you know, sort of slowly walk away. The other thing I would By, by fledge you mean learning how to fly? Uh, so fledging is when they leave the nest box on their you know own volition, uh, and ideally they can fly. Um, some birds like robins are not very good when they leave, uh, but it's safer to be outside the nest than having all babies inside the nest. And so you'll see a lot of baby robins you know in these weeks walking around, and people pick them up and worry that they are not going to make it. Most birds you know will make it. Uh, uh, most birds fledge on their own, leave the nest on their own, and then kind of slowly learn how to fly. And fly. But a lot of them also, you know, just don't make it, uh, uh, which is, you know, good information, cats, rats, uh, you know, <laughs> bombs coming in and keeping the young birds. So being in a nest box is actually safer than being in you know, a cockpit like a robin. 
So, you know, so let's try. Yeah. Let's try. When yeah, you're ready, yeah. Uh, the only other thing is that, you know, if there are nestlings and they are large enough, I'm going to put a nest, a, a, a band, a metal band on them, which is numbered, uh, so that in case they come back, we can identify them again. Uh, or if they get caught, you know, uh, in a misnet in Florida or, or Texas, we know which way they migrate. Um, and the other thing I'll do, if there are nest, uh, nestlings, uh, um, I will take a dawn feather or, or a small feather uh, for analysis of the toxins and heavy metals and uh, and other pollutants that might be present, uh, uh, you know, in the feathers of these birds, uh, uh, to make sure that we are not actually, you know, we're not raising toxic chicks here or anything like that. And so, you know, we'll be comparing those feathers with, you know, Jamaica Bay, which is a national park, and other areas of New York City for, for a project. So, cool. let's go and do it. Five eggs. So I think everybody should come here and very gently walk up and look inside. Um, are, we the, are we not taking anything out? Are we? Not. Okay. That's what it looks inside. You see that? And it's good. Is it good? Two voices. <laughs> Yeah. Subscribe with Mr. House. He said that they're like the eggs are like size of almonds. Oh, almonds. 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 Imagine the mother calls and says, hey, just start pecking us. She's not going to come. No, she's not going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, has yeah. there ever been a case where like the mother will come back and if it sees humans, you know, to defend this egg, they will peck us or anything like that? Uh, these birds, they will swoop at you, but they won't probably attack you. Uh, those red and black birds in here, the ones that make it. <laughs> Noise. If you're next to that nest, they would actually land on your head and you know and like try to poop on you. Uh, um, you know, so yeah, definitely. Uh, right. Did everybody get a you got the ladder. Yeah. Hold the ladder. Everyone should get a chance to look. Okay. Squish it. No truth. No, you don't. <laughs> you think Yoke will come out? And so you Brittany, you think Yoke will out. come out of babies? If we were to squish it before birth? No, I don't know. But Yoke won't come out. Um, Mr. We can, we can find out. Shamar, don't. But right now, right now, are they like yolks? Like if we were to squish them, would it be like the egg? Yeah, it would be, it would be like a tiny chicken egg. Exactly. Oh. exactly. So. But you think they will develop? But I'm saying. I think so, yeah. What I'm saying, like, if you were to squish it, it wouldn't look like the eggs from the supermarket would have a bird in it already or no? No, no. So, so most of the eggs you get in uh, in the supermarket are not even fertilized. The females just lay them, but oh. they've never seen a rooster. Brittany, uh, these come on. ones, you, you know, obviously, look in? hopefully, we hope that you know there was some. So, uh, so wait, wait, Brittany. Bigger, well, right? Let Brittany go. Oh, One more. Okay. Anybody else? Do you want us to hold that bag for you? You've met you voices. And the camera looks bigger. Okay. Oh. Yep. Nice. 
the female who will incubate and the male doesn't have So, you know, I was actually hoping it looked like she said. So they didn't really care about their babies. I think that was the female. That, that might have been the female who incubated. Yeah, we yeah. never know with the color. So they didn't care mm -hmm. about their babies. To my lip, which is a very scientific way to test whether the eggs are warm or not. Um, and they were not. And so there are five eggs in the nest, but tree swallows can lay up to eight eggs. And so my prediction would be the eggs are cold, there are only five eggs in the nest. So hopefully there will be another egg tomorrow and then incubation will start tomorrow the next day. Um, and so that's something that, you know, so by then the nose will come and cold and uh, No, it's alright. Yeah. Yeah, 100 degrees, you know, there is incubation. Yeah, you could definitely. Did you hear that? You should just so you get some practice in writing notes like that. It's mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So when they come up. Mom is. Oh, they're gonna. Oh. Gonna pack. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just get it. Look, it's flying around a lot. Oh. Oh, wow. Do you really want to go in? Alright, you can have it. Oh, oh, that was crazy. That cool? Right? You recorded that, Allison? Yes, when, yes. The moment yes. you went on? I even recorded you asking me that. Oh. <laughs> Why are you touching my baby? Why are you touching my babies? <laughs> Came in there like yeah, like that. What what is what? How does she, what if she finds out that they were, we was there touching? Them? Would they know? She, she wrote, you know, she, it's not gonna bother her too much, right? She's just probably back to make sure that you know Every egg is everything there. is going. Yeah. So has there ever been a case where like three eggs were missing and the and the, and the mom would ballistic inside the, the? She would she would actually abandon the nest because she would consider it to be found by a predator. And, uh, and so she would probably start nesting somewhere else. And uh, she will leave the eggs right there just to get. No, eaten. she'll she'll you know she won't do it. She'll just move somewhere else typically. Yeah. Uh, That's what I'm uh, saying. But I'm saying that if she, would she move before the the, um, the babies were even born? They would. She would do what? Like say if if, if I was if there was a predator. Yeah. And, and, and three eggs is gone. Would she leave and leave those other two? Say there was other two. She would leave them behind. Yeah. What yeah, about more? I mean, no, what happens is because there's so few nests, though, um, she might actually just build a new nest on top of the old clutch. Uh, huh. You know, it depends on the flexibility.